Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. In today's video, we're gonna test out a crazy circle that we have in my area. And uh, we'll see how FSD has it. This traffic circle has got like six exits or something like that. So we'll see how it does. And I'm gonna try to get there without a destination. So this should be fun. I'm just gonna use the blinker to help the car navigate to where we need to go. Great slowdown here for the speed bump. This is one of the best ones we've had yet. Let's see how well it does here on the on the turn. It's been taken at wide on this version. We're currently on 12, uh, 5.6.3. Yeah, it's still taking the turn a little bit too wide. Well, it looks like we got some delivery happening here. So we'll see how well FSG gets around them. We're slowing down for the speed bump. We're keeping a great speed limit here. Going over the speed bump, navigating around the truck, no problem. Perfect execution. Coming up to this uh, exit sign here. Perfect, it completely ignores this sign. It should never pick up anything from it because there's no point of stopping while you exit complex. All right, we are gonna go right here. Yeah, this is, you know, just a test to see how far it'll get without, uh, without having a destination whatsoever. And the circle is about 15, 10, 15 minutes away or something like that. So should give us an idea of how well FSD takes directions from just using the blinker. Uh, the speed limit is not showing the correct speed limit. That's interesting. It's showing 15. It's driving the correct speed limit, but it's probably because of the cars in front of us. But the current speed limit that it's showing is 15 miles instead of 35. I really thought that was fixed on this version because the few other rides that I had um, in this area, it basically showed the correct speed limit. So that sucks. And uh, there's no good way of telling where it picks up that incorrect speed limit for it, so you're going to report it. There we go, picked up the incorrect speed limit here from the speed limit sign. Great speed over the railroad tracks here. And we're going to be coming up to our traffic light here to the right. We should be going to the right, we'll see how well we do. And the trick with driving with no destination is basically like putting your blinker on well in advance before the turn and usually the system just takes that as a, you know a positive instruction and executes it pretty well don't recommend doing this on your own you know usually you have a destination to go to you just pop that in the car will do its best to uh all right so right now it's lined up for the left turn we want the right turn let's see how it handles this with the uh yeah no it doesn't even have an inkling to yep it keeps trying to go left for some reason take over here we didn't get too far we're only like one mile into our drive all right we got a green light here let's try this again we only got five minutes and one mile into our drive that's uh that's pretty funny didn't get too far for some reason they just assumed that i was gonna go left I don't know why I chose that left, but that's what it did. Oh, that's interesting. Also, my uh, speed profile got changed to chill for some reason. I'm just going to put it back to standard. I don't remember changing it back to chill. So maybe there's uh, 
there's some kind of uh, changes that happened to the car overnight. Because yesterday was everything was set on standard. As soon as we get past this uh, lane here on the right, because this lane ends, I'll put my blinker on because we need to take that exit, and we'll see if it'll. Yeah, we'll see if it'll take this exit here for me. Blinker went off. I'm gonna try to put the blinker on one more time. It's not executing this exit, so I'm going to take over here. There we go. Oh, yeah, so the blinker thing is not perfect. It doesn't work every time, so don't be assuming that you're going to be able to drive your car around with a, only a blinker on FSD. Nobody's coming from the left, so we're good to move through. At the end of this road is the circle the uh, I was referring to. Right, let's see how well it does. Plenty of cars around us here. Has to negotiate with a bunch of oncoming lanes. Handles it pretty well. Perfect. Moving over to the left. Good lane selection. It's perfect. It's supposed to go straight. There's nobody coming. Yep. Now there's a car coming from the right. There we go. Good to go. Alright, we're gonna negotiate with this car on the left. Perfect. So uh, this is Route 202 North, and uh, it's got some very strange U turns. And uh, I'll show you guys those in just a second. And uh, if you have any of these on the roads where you live by, you know, throw the road in the comments below. I'd be curious to see if anybody else has U-turns like these. And we'll see how FSD handles it. So you basically have to come up to this intersection here. And uh, the car is freaking out a bit, very aggressive. And uh, it has this loop around to the left, which you guys will see in a second. It did pull up very aggressive with the oncoming traffic, so that was uh, a little uncomfortable. But we're just waiting for a break in traffic so we can go across these two lanes. My foot is hovering over the brake because, uh, you know, I'm not sure what to expect here. So I'm ready for anything, and we're just waiting for break in traffic to try to cross. I'm gonna move this thing over so the car should travel over here on almost like on the side of the road and then pull out on the other end. So it should go, it shouldn't go in the lanes here. It should go right here. Here we go, we got a break in traffic. All right, it did not do it correctly. Okay, there you have it. Yeah, sorry bud. Driving on autopilot. I'm gonna try to run that one more time. And uh, basically, we just have to sneak into this U-turn, stop, and then wait for a jug handle. And the stopping is very stressful with this oncoming traffic. There we go, that was very uncomfortable. Don't do it. God. All right, we got oncoming traffic here. Just waiting for a break. And the map shows the correct thing here. So the map shows that it's got to loop around. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, you should go after this car. Go, 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 go. All right, it's doing it. Second time around, it did the right thing. There's a car. Had to take over because it was pulling out right into traffic with all the other cars coming. That's very unfortunate. Whew, a little nerve wracking there. So the first time it actually failed at the, uh, the first time it actually failed the U-turn. The second time it did the U-turn correctly with uh, a lot of hesitation. 
but then it started accelerating right out of the U-turn and would have cut off a bunch of cars. I'm sure that'll show up on the visualization as I'm editing. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that before. So on the map itself, it's actually showing that there's work happening. So it got marked as work area by this little orange symbol here. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. I wonder if it like picks up those work areas with the cameras where it sees cones and work area happening and if it like makes a mark on the map. So there you have it, a couple of scenarios tested. Very uncomfortable. Uh, these are definitely like strange U-turns that are not readily available in other places, I'm sure. If you have one by your house, put it down in the comments below, like what state you live in and uh, on what road you have these U-turns like I do. Uh, that was uh, Route 202 North. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified when the next one comes out. Take care of yourself, your family, and have a great day.